What's going on guys? It's Shay here. It's everybody. I'm going to be uh, taking or doing a little small overview, not small, but I'm just going to be doing an overview on the season Apex Legends Season 10 patch notes. So I know a lot of people have already made videos on these and this might not get this much, but I'm going to go on ahead and go ahead and just do this. So um, this is going to include the new legend, like what, like the new weapon, like the gold weapons for the season, which I'm really, really excited for. So yeah, with that being said, let's begin. So the first thing you obviously see here on the screen is, of course, new content in his name and his new legend. And the new name is Seer, which either looks like I said this before and I didn't say this on camera, but it basically looks like if Cad Bane and Lil Nas X had a kid, this is most likely what they would look like. So <laughs> this is like a little fun thing I came up with. So, OK, so now we're going to take a look at his abilities, his abilities. And that's a little annoying. Let me go slow down. There we go. Um, his passive is called Heart Seeker, which is when she's able to visualize and hear the heartbeats of nearby enemies when aiming down sights to get a clue on their location. Sears able to ADS or aim down sights even when not holding a weapon. So basically, you could hold down the ADS button. I think, well, because I play on, I because you know I play on console, so I, I have a controller. I think you have to hold this down in order for you to see what's going on. You could also toggle it on and off, um, which is also what's in the gameplay trailer sorry for spoiling that but anyways i'm sorry i did it so his tactical is called focus of attention summon michael jones to emit a focused delay bl delayed blast that goes through walls revealing enemies and their health bars and plus interrupting their action so basically like if valk is trying to fly if crypto is using his drone everything's going to instantly be destroyed I, even, I think that i think that octane's jump pad might even be affected as well wait what if octane stems does that mess it up? That's one thing I need to know. And his ultimate is going to be called Exhibit. So he can create a sphere or like a sphere of micro drones that reveals the footsteps of enemies moving quickly or by firing their weapons within. So basically, I actually heard that if you crouch or if you slide, you can't be detected. So I do know that obviously when you sh if you shoot a gun, you're going to instantly be seen in that little um in that little ball dome thing. So. Yeah, basically it's kind of like a a really buffed a really buffed up version of Crypto, in which I'll still be maining him, obviously. But man, what, what if Sear might be my my second main? I don't have a second main really. So, anyways, now obviously from all this crap, you can easily tell that his class passive is obviously Recon, which is able to scan survey beacons and to reveal the next circle or next ring's location. Map updates. Um, so after months of aggressive mining by the Harvester on World's Edge, the land is overmined, overburdened, and pushed to its limit. The earth is fractured and interrupted as nature is reclaiming what's hers. Hammond is scrambling to contain the data they've caused using weather controlling machines. The climatizer rapidly cools the surrounding areas to sub-zero temperatures, and a lava siphon stabilizes the caldera. Fight for control of the always moving gondolas, or the cable cars and climatizer and lava and siphon, tra traverse the bubbling hot lava with caution and show everyone what the legends are made of. So, <clears throat> you can also, if you, also, if you guys are wondering where I got this from, this is on the EA website. If you guys want to go see the patch notes yourselves, then research up Apex Legends like Season 10 patch notes and you see EA.com, then click on that because all the other websites are either going to tell you something wrong. I do know that this is the only website that's going to tell you everything right. So, here's the new weapon. The all juicy news that I know a lot of people have been waiting for. Basically, the Spitfire, but better in a way. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Rampart's latest creation is the Rampage LMG. Blasts onto the scene and have a and, and has absolutely no chill. This high power heavy ammo LMG takes its time but packs one hell of a punch. The Rampage excels at mid-range combat but struggles up close with a slower rate of fire. Not one just for accepting weakness. Rampart managed to modify the Rampage's internal combustion mechanism with what else? Thermite grenades. Loading a thermite grenade into Rampart's special chamber overclocks the fire rate and lets legends go on... Oh, well, a, a rampage, what do you think about it? I don't know why, but that reminds me of Abba Ranger, like the Super Sentai season Abba Ranger, which is Dino Thunder in America. I, that just popped in my head because the first name, Bakuryu, it translates, and I think literally translates to Rampage. I don't know why, it's just something really funny. <clears throat> I don't know, but that's completely irrelevant to this. One thing that a lot of people have been waiting for is ever since arenas got added, it's been ranked arenas. So... Here's that with the launch of Emergence Update, we're introducing Ranked Arenas. You begin your journey through Ranked Arenas in 10 placement matches when your performance will determine your initial matchmaking rank or your MMR and your starting rank MMR variance is wider initially. So your first 10 matches might be stomped, like might be stomped or get stomped until your MMR defines your placement. That sounds really, really hard. <clears throat> 
Um, and arenas is a head-to-head -head fight between two teams of three, so awarding ranked arenas points is more cult, more cut and dry, but I say more cult and dry than the 20 team battle royale. This means that there's no entry cost and no AP for like no AP or you know like kind of you know kill points or not kill points, rank points in a way for kills. Everything comes down to getting a win. So basically, this makes uh, this is basically ranked, but a lot easier. Like say for instance that you get in silver, which I I'm actually am in silver, and I'm not gonna reach gold sadly. But um, I'm in silver two currently, and apparently there, um, it costs it costs twelve uh, rank points just to get into a match. And basically, it's mean it's mean means this: no matter what rank you are, you could you could easily get into a match without having to worry about like you know about your your rank points or your arena points going down. So yeah, so that's just a high level of how ranked arenas work. To learn more details, yeah, you can go and uh, check out their blog. So. Quality of life updates. Um, adding a new badge, win streak. Um, can you get two, three, four, five wins in a row now? This goes with a battle royale. Okay, okay. So they finally introduced something new to battle royale, and they finally add this. It's called a hold on response to enemy pings. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I'm gonna try that out maybe um, when season ten drops. Cause season ten drops tomorrow. And I will be making a live stream tonight called Goodbye Season 9 and possibly be using the most overpowered weapons again, even though I kind of mess it up. But that's not the part, that's not the purpose of this video. So so now we have to add distinct sounds effects to the gold pack the gold book bags revive. Uh, visual effects were added in the Chaos Theory update, and this gives additional feedback when players are close but not in line of sight of, of, of reses. Then uh, they updated the heirloom store to give players a better view of all the items related to that um to that item. So there you go. For those who really wanted to see everything that is in, like an heirloom, like an heirloom set or anything, this is what is gonna be inside. Like you know the heirloom, and then these things like a, a kill clip, like a leg, uh, heirloom tier kill clip. Then you got you know the banner frame or whatever. So, uh, so updated open pack button um, to show how many packs of each type are available to open up. Highlighting the button shows a complete breakdown. So basically. This makes it easier for you to look at the legendary, like, to see, oh, yeah, I have this many legendaries, I have this many epics, I have this many rares, or I have this many commons, okay? So, then it makes it a little a little better, and I would be really surprised if I ever saw somebody with 74 legendary apex packs. That's some stuff. Next up is the legend meta. So, we first off have is Fuse. So, Fuse, his enemies, the enemies caught inside of the Ring, Ring of Fire of Fuse's Muggle Load Ultimate are now revealed to him. So, basically, you could either push and go fight that team if they're caught up in it because they're already being slowed down as it is. Um, I just something wrong. <laughs> or you could just wait for them to come back. I don't know what you want to do with that. And now his knuckle cluster tactical explosion duration is increased by 100%. So that means that it is twice, it goes on for twice as long as how it did before. And his grenadier passive can be toggled on and off to throw ordnance normally. I'm, I think no one would probably use that because I, I think I'll, there's a lot of people out there who absolutely, who don't really, who don't play Fuse at all. But when they do play him, they really enjoy him launching the grenades like this in his arm so there's a little dev note i'll give you guys some time to read that if you need a little more time then go ahead and uh just pause the video or something and next up is horizon so reduce the slow after the initial black hole pull and bumped horizon's gravity lift up speed to a happy medium between 9.1 and the legacy update launch value so basically horizon is coming back as a really good character again because many people said that and not many people but a lot of people said that Horizon started to become a really bad legend when she got nerfed. And now since she's getting a buff again, she's going to be meta again, okay, right? Because um, she was like the spotlight in Season 7. Next up we have is Revenant. So there's now a visual, audi and a visual and audio cue when Dev told him protection is about to end, which can be seen or heard by other players. And added a brief slow after being recalled to the Dev told him. So now we have Caustic, who's actually getting a buff. And his gas damage starts at five, but increases every one tick, every uh, like every other tick basically. So basically, the more the longer you stay in his gas, the higher the damage will go up, which of course is a as a buff for him. So basically, if you stay in the gas for let's say maybe six seconds, you'll probably be getting around maybe nine damage. I think. I think I'm not the best at that. So yeah. <clears throat> And his ultimate cooldown has been reduced from 3.5 minutes to just 3 minutes. His duration reduced from 20 to 15. So now you'll actually be able to just roll right out of the freaking thing in about 15 seconds. So, yeah. Um, and there is the little dev note if you guys want to read that. Weapon meta. Now we have supply drop rotation. So now we know that Prowler is out of care package. 
Spitfire and Alternator again put in care package. So here it says right here, this season a Prowler returns to the floor, to, returns to the floor loot as a ground weapon, and taking its place is the Spitfire. In addition to the Spitfire this season, another weapon uh, will be joining the supply drop, the Alternator. Which I know a lot of people were like, why would they put Alternator in care package? Like it makes no sense because Alternator kind of sucks. But I absolutely love Alternator. It's my favorite SMG. As I've said that in my Season 9 weapon tier list, I will, I will be making a Season 10 weapon tier list, I think, a few days after the drop. So, oh my goodness, my phone is getting on my nerves because it keeps on vibrating. So, basically, I will tell you guys more about the Spitfire and, like, did it get buffed in care package? Because when a weapon goes in care package, it obviously gets a buff. So, or slight buff. So, now hop-ups. So, boosted loaders, they only knew hop-up being added this season. Reloading near empty, but not at zero, increases reload speed and overloads the next magazine with extra rounds. This hop-up will, will be equipable or is compatible with the Hemlock and Wingman. So, this actually makes Hemlock the first time to ever have a freaking hop-up. Because in the entirety of Apex Legends being released in the two years has been popular, Hemlock has never had a hop-up. Because I don't think it ever had a need for hop-up. And due to the fact that Quick Draw and Anvil is being removed, I even know Hemlock didn't support Anvil, but Quick Draw is being removed this season, and it's only been in the, in the game for two seasons only. Um, the thing is, though, is that since I've really enjoyed Quick Draw. The only useful thing I see out of it is the reduced hip fire spread, and I really am only good at that with the RE45, even though my hip fire with the RE45 without it is still okay. So now basically the highest mag you can go up to, I think, in Wingman, if you have the gold or purple mag, you get 11. Um, and I think for Hemlock, you get... 32, I think, because the, the highest mag you can go for Hemlock is 30, so that means you get, I think you get 32. I, I don't know about that. So, fully kitted rotation. So, I actually predicted this, or one of these weapons being in the in the gold weapons for the season. I actually predicted this, all right? So we have Peacekeeper, Flatline, RE45, Rampage, obviously, and Charge Rifle. So, um, in my last my live stream last night, I predicted that RE45 is going to be the next is going to be the next gold weapon as a pistol because it hasn't been a gold weapon ever since I think season five. So, I, I was really excited when I saw RE in care package. Uh, not care package. I really hope that it never happens. But in freaking in in the gold weapon rotation. And now mag attachment. So reload speed increase associated with mags have been rem have been moved to the equivalent equivalent the equivalent stock rarity tier. So which I kind of I'm like, why do they ever do that? Because it makes no sense for just to move the uh, reload speed from mags to stocks. Like like for pistols, for example. How are you going to increase the reload time for that? Like, how are you going to be able to, like, have a faster reload time? I guess you just won't now. Um, so, I'm just wondering why they ever think about this. Because it's kind of a useless, um, kind of, in my opinion, it's kind of like a useless buff for, like, like assault rifles, snipers, or for, like, ass assault rifles and snipers and marksman weapons. It kind of, it's kind of a useless buff because now not, not one weapon in the game, if you get a, a like, a extended mag above gray, you no longer have a fast reload time, even though for P20 it doesn't matter because it already has a fast reload as it is. And same with RE, but with a gold, with a gold or purple mag, you can obviously see that it has a slightly, slightly faster reload time than the others. But anyways, and now what's even worse is that Wingman will no longer have a fast reload. Which, well, if you get boosted loader, then yes, it will. So, um, so now stock attachments. All stocks now offer increased reload speed instead of mags, which makes no sense to me. Marksman weapons, 30-30, G7, triple take, now take sniper stocks instead of tactical stocks. Um, so basically, you'll be able to equip a sniper stock in a G7 again. Um, and sniper stocks on marksman weapons will offer increased stability and sway reduction with slightly, slightly reduced handling bonuses from tactical stocks. Anyways, so there's a death note. If you guys want to read that, pause the video if you want to. Now L-Star, my favorite LMG. It's getting a huge rework. So now this gun is going to take extended energy mags. Mags on the L-Star will work differently than the other weapons because of its unique interaction with ammo. Instead, they will allow the L-Star to fire more shots before it overheats and allow it to cool off before it hits the heat builds up slightly faster. Now, basically, you're going to get two shots extra in each mag. Now, base mag, obviously, is going to be, I think, they said 22, once at 24, once at 26, and the last will be 28. So, yeah, and then now it's going to be able to take barrel mods. And projectile, uh, the, the thing reduced before we have, yeah, yeah. First person on hit impact effect, inten intensity reduced? Okay. And hit fire spread has been increased. So, I like the hit fire with L-Star a lot. <laughs> um, but now I will have to actually kind of aim a little more. <laughs> so, now LMGs reduced the headshot multiplier for L every single one of them from two, from like two times to just 1.75. 
And same thing, uh, the limb shot from that, or they actually increased that. So, yeah, you might be able to kill someone a little faster in that term, terms of not the head. So, pistols. So, they reduce handling time for all pistols by negative 10. And they raise holster and zoom in out time. So, basically, I think it's going to take a little little more time for you to draw, like, for, like to, for you to draw the weapon, maybe. I don't know, but we'll have to see that. And so, yeah, obviously, they're going to be... Um, they're going to be increasing their base handling, obviously, and which also means that RE45 won't have a won't have a hop up this season because you know disruptors going to alternator, quick draws being vaulted, so RE won't have a won't have a hop up uh, once again this season. So and Prowler, this time between bursts increased from 0.2 to 24, which I'm assuming either it's faster or it's slower. I'm not sure about that. <clears throat> And Spitfire, its damage has increased from 18 to 19, and a hit fire spread is back from the Season 8 pre-nerf values, and its purple mag size increased from 50 to 55. And there we go, um, there's, here's the dev note right here, which is kind of funny, and Alternator, reducing the Disruptor Rounds, or reintroducing the Disruptor Rounds, which come equipped on a Supply Drop Alternator. Disruptor Rounds increases shield damage by 40%, so that's going to break your shields really easily. So, if you hear an alternator with a do 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 you might, well, might as well just either die or run, or at least hide the best you can. So, um, Disruptor Rounds can only be found in alternators from Supply Drop. So, the alternator joins the Spitfire and Supply Drop with its old friend, the Disruptor Rounds. The shield damage has come down since we last saw Disruptors in Season 2, but it's still a shield-shredding monster. Pack an extra bat. Uh, but anyways, and 3030 of Peter, it's reload speed from stocks has increased, so that's something. And yeah, there's a the little dev note right there. And Eva 8, significantly, redu significantly reduced bolt fire rate, scaling from each rarity tier. And its base fire rate remains unchanged. So basically, you can still knock somebody out or knock someone down in the beginning of a match. Um, because it still has a fairly fast fire rate. And these are a, a, a whip... <laughs> arena's weapon update so now i guess since uh instead of on uh, round two of me playing arenas i guess i'll just have to buy prowler this time because i will always buy alternator um in round two uh, so there you go right there uh price adjustments for some of the weapons you got these guns and such and arena's adjustment ability or ability adjustments so horizon horizon's gravity lift start starting changes reduced from two to one mirages um i think this is a uh, tactical yeah it's a uh, tactical starts charging starts uh starting charges reduced from three to two and blood on free scans while on beast of the hunt reduced from three to two so yeah um so now here's some bug fixes so here, here's some things here's a um little bitty few of the um bug fixes with some of the legends and stuff so, um, what's that saying? Hmm. Okay, that's pretty weird. My phone's getting on my freaking nerve. So, yeah, so I think that does, I think that makes it about it for this video. So, these patch notes are a pretty big update for the game. And I'm really excited to try out the gold weapons for the season because I don't think I've ever been this interested to try out the gold weapons in any season. Well, I've only played uh, late season six. Um, so when I actually started playing playing the game, so yeah, um, I'm gonna be really, really freaking excited for um, just for the gold weapons and everything. So if you guys want to go take a look at these pack notes yourselves, then you can go onto the EA website to research them, or I could possibly leave a link in the description down below. I'm I'm pretty sure might might be a lot of people are like you didn't really go into depth about these uh patch notes, so I'll definitely take note of this and see. How well I did in this, but I don't know because I don't typically do stuff like this. So with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.